In this video, we'll be looking at how to add subtitles to a YouTube video, which is something we'll be wanting to do more and more in our Lakota language revitalization projects as we transcribe more and more video. There are ways of doing this within YouTube, but today I'm going to demonstrate another tool called Subtitle Horse. It has a few advantages. Firstly, you don't need an account, so it's easy to get team members involved in transcription without giving them access to your YouTube account. Um, also, you can work with a locally stored video if you have slow internet. And also, it lets you export a project file only a few kilobytes, which you can send back and forth to team members to make collaboration really easy. So, first of all, you're going to go to subtitlehorse.com and then choose Add a Project and give the project a name. Then you have a couple of options where it says load from URL, you can just drop in the YouTube link and then you're ready to start segmenting the video and subtitling it. Or, as I mentioned, you can load a local video too. No uploading involved, it just means you don't have to deal with buffer times that you might encounter using a video directly from YouTube. Another advantage is that it gives you the option to generate a waveform to help you visualize the audio. Now you're going to segment the video however you need for your particular project. And by default, Subtitle Horse validates the segments you're creating and lets you know if it's too short or too long. And these are based on the best practices for subtitling, including accessibility considerations. Once you've got a few segments laid out, you can begin to subtitle. So select a segment either from the timeline at the bottom or the list on the right. And there are a couple buttons for playing the segment. This one plays from that point and then continues, and this one next to it plays the segment on loop, which is what I need for language work because it always takes me a few repetitions to figure out the words that the speaker is using. This is going to take me a while, so I'll share my screen again once I've done some work on it. Okay, so I got my text in. There are a few checks I want to make here. Obviously, there's proofreading, but that'll depend on your project requirements. But also, as you play it back through, you'll want to check that the subtitles are nicely synced with the audio, and you can adjust segment boundaries really easily like this. Subtitle Horse will also validate the character content. So if there are too many characters in a subtitle, you should divide that segment into two or more segments. And also if there are too many characters on a line, you should split it across lines. Now I'll show you how to add these subtitles to the original YouTube video for other people to benefit from. So I'm going to go to File and then Export and save the SRT file to your computer. And if you want to see what an SRT file looks like, um, find the file you downloaded and just open it in a text editor. Uh, but this is the format, the start and end time of each segment grouped with its text. In most cases, you'll need to have edit access on the channel where your video is. I think some YouTube videos also accept community-made subtitles, but here I'll assume you have permissions to edit the video and that it's already been uploaded. So you're going to go to Edit Video and then choose Subtitles from this list. It's going to ask you to set the language of that video, and annoyingly, Lakota isn't on that list. So I'll pick any old language, Lao. It's not related to Lakota, I think it's East Asian. Um, but I have left a question on the YouTube community forum to see if we can get Lakota added to that list. Then you're going to upload your SRT file 
and it will populate all of the necessary fields. And you can make edits here, and of course this is the editor you'd be using if you chose to subtitle directly in YouTube, but um, I prefer Subtitle Horse for the reasons I mentioned earlier. And what we can do, and this is a bit of an ugly workaround, is rename the subtitle track, and I'll show you what that does right now. So this is what the video looks like for the viewer. Under the subtitle settings in the YouTube player, they'll see Lakota listed, appended to the name of the language we're pretending the video is in. And if we were to upload other SRT files with the subtitles translated into other languages, for example an English translation of the Lakota speech, then those would be displayed here too. And that's all. So now you know how to use Subtitle Horse as an alternative to subtitling in YouTube, and how to do that little workaround to force a language name that isn't in the list of video languages. Oha, doksha ake.